Coming up on LSU Sports Showtime, we'll have everything from the softball team's home opener at the new Tiger Park. And the results from last night's men's basketball game against Mississippi State. Plus, we have women's basketball assistant coach Bob Starkey joining us live here on set. All that and your weekend preview, Sports Showtime starts now. Into the liveest game coverage around Who's calling LSU sports Showtime in the towns Get the scoop on the ball and sneak peek on the track Key in on the field when them Tigers attack In fact, you get it back a few times a week But it starts on Tuesday, third day of the week They're beast when they broadcast Increase like a fall class Critique when I speak by my squad in the quad, man Yeah, they the stars on the quad, man That's the TVC, Tiger TVP Every linebacker. game, every start, every player, every situation they face in the star in the making. And you get it first exclusively. Yeah, I love you feeling me. Who want the latest on the T I G E R S? <laughs> That's the Mellis Shoot Tigers. We get it sparking like a fire. Welcome to Sports Showtime, your source for everything LSU Athletics. I'm Brian Tompkins. And I'm Mary Claire Palmer. Later on in the show, we'll have the results from last night's men's basketball showdown in Starkville. But first, opening night in the new Tiger Park for the LSU softball team. The, the Lady Tigers took on McNeese State last night in their home opener. Starting off the night, there were 2,172 fans out there for the grand opening of the new Tiger Park. Coming up to the plate now, Jazz Jackson. She's going to hit a nice one. It's going to get through there. This is going to score her RBI for the night. Kirsten Shortridge running over the plate there. Jazz Jackson up again this time with the bunt. That's going to get past him at first. So she'll score Mitchell this time for another run for the Tigers. Mitchell at the plate now. She's going to send in another RBI there. Another run for the Tigers as Jazz Jackson runs in. And Mitchell later scored as well. Brittany Mack on the mound for the great Tiger win. The Lady Tigers would go on to win by a final score of six to nothing. Though individual numbers weren't huge for LSU, the key to their victory was defense. The Lady Tigers only surrendered two hits and had no errors. LSU will look to keep up strong play in the field this weekend in the Eastern Tiger Classic. Over to a much closer competition, the LSU men's basketball team went to battle last night in Starkville against the Bulldogs of Mississippi State. The competition went to two overtimes, and the Tigers watched their own Chris Johnson, Quentin Thornton, Storm Warren, and Terry Martin foul out of the game. However, in the end, the Tigers will come out on top by a score of 97-94. And know that it's not a typo on your screen. People, Taz and Mitchell did leave the Tigers with 41 points and 11 rebounds. LSU is now commanding 8-1 in the SEC and 20-4 overall. The Tigers' next matchup will be held Saturday in the PMAC against Ole Miss. From Tasman Mitchell's Hall of Fame performance to intramural players trying out their best Jordan impersonation, intramural basketball continued last night. That's right, Mary Claire. Tiger TV was out there to catch all the action. Let's start you out with a little frat action. For the first game of the night, Pi Sig here with the steal, taking it in for the easy layup. Lambda Kai looks to fight back in the lane. He's going to go for a nice little hook shot from under the goal there. Pi Sig looking to fight back at the other end of the court. They're going to make the nice little shot from the outside. Lambda Kai fighting back again in the lane, but that layup wouldn't be enough as they'd go on to fall 60 to 48. Our second game of the night was Kappa Sig B versus SAEB. SAEB gets the offensive rebound for an easy two points. Kappa Sig comes back with their big man in the middle for the easy layup. Nobody even tried to block the shot. Off the steal, SAEB gets the layup, two points. Kappa Sig, not to be outdone, I'll bring it right back with our big man. Two more points for them. However, they would not be able to score enough points in the lane as they would fall by a score of 44 to 42. Now for the rest of the scores from the night, SAE Team A fell to Lambda Chi 49 to 39. Meanwhile, Sigma Chi A defe defeated Pi Kappa Phi 61 to 53. Sigma Alpha Mu handled Delta Chi with ease 39 to 16, and Kappa Sigma got away with a free one, winning by forfeit against the Phi Psi three balls. And over at U High, Kappa Sigma A took down Acacia A 50 to 34. Phi Kappa Psi fell to those thinkers at the law school 42 to 31. And the biggest win of the night, Phi Delta Theta, destroyed Alpha Gamma Rho 72 to 18. Now let's change our focus from the students at the rec to play basketball to the ones there to get in shape. Sports Showtime's Sikandar Mayer has a story about how students are trying to stay fit. Exercising in a healthy lifestyle is becoming more and more popular across the nation. And this trend has also reached LSU. Despite having busy schedules, students manage to find the time to exercise to keep the unwanted weight at bay. 
Studies show that 30 minutes of daily exercise not only increases your fitness level, but also boosts brain power and reduces stress. So it's no wonder that more and more students are hitting the LSU Lakes and visiting the LSU Rec Center. The LSU Lakes provide a good four-mile stretch that is perfect for running or walking. This trail seems to be popular among LSU students and other residents of the area as well. Solid hour of exercise, you know it's going to take an hour, then you can be done with it and you know, your exercise is good for the day. The Student Recreation Center has great facilities for both cardio and strength training. If the outdoor trail and the treadmills don't suit you, try the indoor track. Because of its convenient hours, there's no excuse for anyone who's out of shape. Special courses and personal trainers are also available for anyone looking for some help to get in shape. Whether it's trying to lose the freshman 15 or trying to stay fit and lean, more and more students here at LSU are realizing that fit lifestyle is essential to a happy lifestyle. So, more of them are choosing to run around the lakes here and trying to stay fit in the gym. For Sports Showtime, I'm Skandamir. We now welcome in the studio two members of the LSU rugby team to talk about their season this year. Eric West, Adam DeCoin, how's it going guys? Great to have you here. It's going fine. All right, Adam, well tell me, after winning the SEC, SEC championship back in the fall, how was the team able to prepare with the long break and everything for the upcoming season this January? Well, we had a real successful uh, preseason ending with the SEC championship, and uh, we decided that the best way for us to become a better team was just to uh, get in the gym and become better athletes. So. We kept the core of the team uh, in Baton Rouge over the break. We put in a really strong strength and conditioning program. We were hitting two-a-days in the gym, on the track, and it, it's really made a big impact for us so far this season. Obviously, big win against rival Texas A&M. Eric, how do you think the team was able to pull through that week, this weekend? Well, I think that tied in a lot into our, uh, our you know, condi strength and conditioning because we knew the uh, strengths of Texas A&M and that we were going to have to beat them with physicality and speed around the field. And uh, basically, all the training over the break was exactly catered towards that and resulted in a win for us. So. Okay, well, what do you think exactly Texas this weekend is going to bring? What kind of challenge to the team? How are you guys preparing for that this week? Texas is going to be a, it's going to be a really good game for us because they like, they're a really big team. They like to bring a lot of impact and size. So they're really going to try and, and push us around. We're, so our plan for them is to just not back down, bring that physicality, bring that intensity, and uh, hope to push them back and see if we can win that win. All right, well, we all hope to see a win. Hopefully maybe everybody will bring their Valentines out there. I know it's family day. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank Let's you. See some big wins. It's now time for our first commercial break, but when we come back, we'll take a look into what's going on in the LSU sports world this weekend. Plus, a special guest comes to the set to give us a deeper look into the women's basketball game this Sunday. Stay tuned. This is Sports Showtime on Tiger TV.